Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a virus simulation. Once you double click on the file, it starts to duplicate itself. The moment you start to close the files, the more it duplicates. But before we get started, this is for educational purposes only. Don't try this at home. You need permission before you use it on any PC. If you are new to this channel, this is Akes InfoTech where we always simplify tech for you. Please don't forget to support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button, liking the video, and turning on the bell notification for more tech tips. I really appreciate that. Now let's get started. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use my virtual machine which I've launched already. So let me quickly open my virtual machine. And then we are going to use Notepad, okay, to script this virus. So I'll click on the search and type Notepad. And then we run the Notepad as admin. So I'll right click on it and go to ad run as administrator. And then I'll click on yes to allow the apps to make changes. So we are going to use the fork command, okay? This file is actually a small file, but the damage it can cause is very huge. So please use it with caution, okay? So we are going to use the fork command. And what the fork command does is, it's an operation whereby a process creates a copy of itself, as I, I explained in my introduction. So the moment you double click on this virus or this file, it's going to create a copy of itself, okay? So let's start scripting. So we bring the add sign, echo and then we type of and then we type the column fork so it is the command we are going to use okay then enter start percentage zero and then go to fork so this is all the command we we need to type okay you see it as a basic command but the damage it can cause is very huge it can freeze your pc it can make your work like you can't even work on your pc okay so we are going to save this document as a batch file so i'll click on the file and go to save us and then i'll name it virus.bat you can specify any name in any location you want okay in my case i'm going to use the desktop as my location so i'll click on save then i'll close this particular file so we are going to change the icon of the virus, okay, to entice users to open it. So, but we can't change it unless we create a shortcut of this file. So we are, I'm going to right click on it and then send to, and then we click on desktop create shortcut. So we are going to change the icon on a shortcut. So I'll right click on the shortcut, then I'll go to properties. Then I'll go to change icon and then I'll click on okay. So we have to use an icon that is enticing, okay? So I'm going to go with the control panel icon, okay? Okay, so when you see an icon like this, you think it's a control panel icon. It's a shortcut of control panel. So you don't have to go to the start and, ty and type in control panel or set it for control panel. You have the shortcut already, but it's actually a virus. So now let's see how the virus works, okay? Let me double click on it and then let's see what happens. So you see, it starts creating a copy of itself. And you can't close them. You can't even end the task. Because the more the, the moment you start to close them, the more it creates a copy. And it wouldn't stop until you, you do a restart of the PC or you shut down the PC. It's not going to stop. It will be creating a copy of itself until you do a restart or you shut down the PC. So this is the virus we've created. It's actually a small file. It's basic, but the damage it can cause is very huge. So please, it's for educational purposes only. And you need the permission on the PC you want to try on before you try that, okay? So you see what is happening? It creates a copy of itself. So this brings us to the end of the tutorial. Please, if you find value in this tutorial, kindly support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button liking the video and turning on the bell notification for more tech tips. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.